Welcome again to my video. Today we're going to be discussing about Sweet Love Potion. Wow, sarap ng pangalan, no? Uh, this is actually a potion that's very related to crypto axi, no? Axi token, right? So we're going to be reviewing this and why is it something that I call Sweet Love Potion or Small Love Potion? All right, so current price is 0.2926. It's actually almost double of its price two weeks ago. Uh, for the past couple of days, it's already up 23.5%, almost one-fourth of its original price. Current uh, circulating supply is uh, 404. Uh, market capitalization of 117 million. So, malaki na to, no? This is actually already 100 million up from a market cap perspective. Obviously, it's within the Ethereum contract. And um, napakaganda ng performance. Obviously, nagkaroon to ng all-time high around uh, this area, around this particular area. No? So we'll further uh, deep dive into this. This was, this was around uh, May 2nd. No? And then, uh, if you look at the performance, it's currently ranked almost 200 from a token perspective. No? And uh, trading volume and laki, almost 67. 67 million trading volume, in, uh, considering the price is very, very small. Uh, obviously, Sweet Love Potion is a token uh, in earn on playing Axie Infinity game. This is actually a digital asset that serves as a replacement for experience points. So you're actually earning SLP whenever you gain experience while playing Axie. SLP actually is an ERC20 token. And you could actually use this to breed no? new digital pets that are known as Axies. No? So if you watch my previous uh, live uh, session, I discussed there the tokenomics of Axie. Obviously, that is how um, Axie as an ecosystem earn. No? So, um, you know, the, uh, the uh, buyers are, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, the breeders are obviously selling Axies. The buyers are selling Axies to create SLPs, SLPs to breed Axies. You breed Axies to sell and then you sell and there's going to there's gonna be a buyer. No? So, it's actually the ecosystem and SLP is a very important uh, token, you could also earn token by farming. So, maraming paraan for you to earn SLPs, right? So, um, why is it very, very uh, uh, hype right now? Because Axie is also a very good hyped token na nagkaroon na ng all-time high for the past couple of days, right? So, if you look at SLP from a chart perspective... Uh, from a chart perspective, there's an all-time high at around 0.42. This was around May 1st. Obviously, nagkaroon din ng around uh, 0.34 all-time, um, uh, semi-all-time high on May 17. And the current price today is currently at 0.27. And if you look into the uh, all-time high on May, July, July 12, it's currently at 0.30. My forecast for this token is this will further go higher no kasi if you've noticed if you actually entered around july 2nd the price back then was 0.13 and this was the time that i actually also bought no i actually bought on this area full disclosure I actually bought this uh, token way back july 2nd because i really saw the potential no i saw the potential and i know that this will further go higher so my forecast for this token is that this will further go higher and a potential entry point is wait for consolidation or wait for it to break out at the 0.34 or 0.31 level. 0.31 level. So if, if it hits the 0.31 level and up, this can potentially go spike up even higher. If you put the indicators, let's put RSI 30. Obviously, it's, it's currently over... Uh, it's currently parabolic already, no? Actually, well, not yet, no? So, from a 30 perspective, parabolic siya sa RSI 14, but it's not yet parabolic on the RSI 30. So, there, there's still obviously a potential for this coin to further go higher. Uh, just look for those potential breakout points, no? Actually, binarekout niya na tong, uh, level na to 0.24. That's why pagkatapos ng 0.24, bumulusok na yung next candle pataas, no? The next area to watch out for is the 0 0.31, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, and all-time high 0 0.42. If it breaks out the 0 0.42, I expect this to further go up to 0.7. Again, full disclosure, I do have. I actually was able to buy uh, around uh, the, Ju the June 29 to July 2nd 
uh, range, we were able to buy the 0.13 range for SLP. And we also have added around uh, two days ago, no, we added at the 0.24 area uh, because we really saw the potential of this coin, of sorry, of this token. Uh, by the way, also, there's a news about this, no, small love potion price doubles. As Axie Infinity grows, uh, uh, explodes, no? The, the growth explodes. So basically, sabi ko nga kanina, it's the Axie who's obviously driving the utilization of this coin. So there's two ways to earn. If you're the owner of Axie, you could earn by selling SLP and you could actually, uh, sorry, you could earn by, uh, you know, trading SLP or you could actually earn by breeding and so on and so forth, no? So yan, nakaparabolic run din si, uh, si Axie token. So obviously, Kung nagpa-parabolic run si Axie token, mag magpa-parabolic run din si Small Love Potion. So, hindi pa siya parabolic today because sabi natin, the RSI 30 is still within the point, uh, 64 level. So, there's still a potential for this particular um, token to further catch up. no? And then, yun, there's actually a new user demand uh, for Axie breeding. So the successful the success of SLP depends on the large part on the overall growth of and the adoption of Axie. So obviously you know Axie interest and laki sa Philippines guys napakalaki sa Philippines almost 100% followed by Venezuela, Cuba, Qatar, UAE and dami. There's also a lot of breeders in the UAE area and then uh yeah from a from a geographical perspective and dami sa Pilipinas. So so it's a potential no. Community growth as well. There is a potential from a Discord membership, daily active users, almost almost 250,000. No? Uh, yung kulay blue is the Axi holder and yellow is the Discord holder. Marami talagang growth yan. And then, uh, of course, the new user ecosystem, uh, the more Axis are needed in order for them to engage in the gameplay. Yan. So, gameplay provides users with daily income. So, if you actually, if you're not a trader, you could also do a gameplay. You could be a scholar or you could also be an investor. More to come on that on being the investor, I will come up with a business presentation for the potential investors uh, when we decide. No, kung, if we will only decide to offer this externally, we will let you guys know. But of course, don't forget, no, there's always going to be risks in anything. No? So, make, make sure that you don't put all of the eggs in one basket. Tapat hindi tayo lagay na lagay lang sa isang basket. We need to make sure we diversify. And we need to make sure that yung knowledge ninyo in terms of the token is in depth. Hindi ka lang mag, mag invest just because sinabi ni Coach Miranda Minor, you still need to do your research on the tokenomics. You need to still do your research on ano ba yung purpose ng particular coin na yan or ng token na yan. No? So again, I'm just sharing it to you from a, from a, tar, from a chart perspective. Based on this one, where is the potential entry? You know, obviously, you could also enter if the MACD agrees with you, MACD bullish uh, cross, no? and then obviously, RSI at this point is already approaching parabolic. But you will notice mababa pa yung volume dito, no? so compared to this particular volume. So I think, I think no, na medyo may potential pa talaga because the adoption of the coin, uh, the token, I, I'd, I'd say rather, is still very low because mababa pa ng volume compared to this volume here. no? So... I think that uh, potentially this volume can still even go higher. And uh, we just need to make sure that, uh, again, we consider the potential risk. No, There's always going to be a risk right? Uh, that we need to consider uh, whenever we put uh, our investment in a particular token. So, All right. So, guys, I hope you ka. what is the sweet or small love potion? What is it all about? In a very simplest manner, where is the potential entry point? Is it already late? Is it still early? Uh, I think it's not yet too late, no? I think it's not yet too late. Although, marami na nakapasok. So, it, if it's, if it tries to consolidate around 0 0.28, 0 0.25, I think there is still a potential for this token to go even higher at 0 0.42, which is the starting point, no? Kailangan lang niya ma-recover, ma-break out ito mga uh, resistances na to. Alright? So, guys, with that said, thank you very much. And I hope you learned something from our quick video for today. Thank you.